Right, this is the Hero Bass P5, P6, P7, M5, D2, Ranzigi. Explain the barrier supports participation. What's the first one you've chosen? Um, I have points to support the first one that I've chosen is time. One of the main reasons why people may not take part in sport is because of time. This is because people may have responsibilities such as work, parenting, and domestic duties. This could be the difference between dedicated people and non dedicated people. Dedicated people will be uh, sac make sac sacrifices to play sport where non dedicated people won't bother. Good. The second one that I've talked about is uh, resource resources. Another barrier that may stop people from participating is uh, resources. Resources falls into three main categories financial, physical, and people. To take part in, in sport, people need to have money to cover the cost, which might be, such as buying equipment and stuff. You also uh, need to have people to say if you want to play football, you can't play on your own, so you need people, so that comes into resources. The third one I want to talk about is travel. This is another barrier to sport because you need to travel to get to the facilities or the match that you're going to play in. So you could, uh, could, could be walking distance, but it could be miles away. If you don't drive and stuff and you have a, don't have a car, then it'd be a bit of a problem. The third, fourth one I want to talk about is ability. This could be uh, can prevent from someone from taking part in a higher level, but it should not prevent them from finding a sport that they can enjoy. Getting some coaching to improve your ability or joining a class with friends is a good strategy to improve and uh, over that barrier, to come over that barrier. The fifth one is uh, medical conditions. This is another barrier to sport. An individual could be suffering from a long-term disease such as asthma, so therefore could prevent them from taking part. People with conditions like these need, ex uh, need to take exercise under supervision or guidance. <coughs> the sixth one is fitness. The last sports barrier I'm going to talk about is fitness. This barrier to sport because of lack of fitness is often the excuse given by people who say they cannot take part in sport. This is mainly obese people. Their body might not be able to cope with the stress that exercise puts on their body. This can be tackled with a positive mindset and motivation because the only way you will increase your fitness is by taking part. Alright, good. Uh, P6, explain three cultural influences on sports participation. The three cultural influences I'm going to talk about is gender differences, ethnicity and age. Gender differences have produced discrimination in terms of access to and participation in sport. In the past, and still it is occurring in this day and age, many women have been stereotyped with domestic roles, leaving few opportunities or activities suitable for them to participate in. During the 1980s, a more equal approach began to enlighten, allowing women to participate in sport, sport in the UK. The second one is ethnicity. Taking part in activity can be influenced by ethnic background. Many ethnic, ethnic groups participate in sport but have other factors that can affect their opportunities. It can influence the water and whether they play or succeed in sport. Other people's attitude and progress. For example, an Asian woman lady has to remain covered up at all times. So sports such as swimming, football and gymnastics require outfits as which they won't be able to wear. The third one is age. In 2006, a new legislation was passed making it illegal to discriminate against anyone on the basis of age. In our local community, there are not many opportunities for people aged above 50. This means that it would be hard for them to participate in sport. This will also result in people retiring early from work because of the body not being able to cope with the work. And also, if there were opportunities for elderly people, they may not have the minute. Uh, sorry, if there were elderly people with disabilities, or injury which might require them to receive special transport, this could also prevent them. Right, okay. So P7, describe three strategies or initiatives which relate to sports participation for the merit, explain them for distinction, evaluate them. The three I want to talk about is Keithley 10K, um, Keithley 5v5 tournament at Marley, and the Haiku Youth Club. The first one is uh, the Keith 10K. This is a related agency that is designed to produce to help people participate in sport that I'm going to talk about. The Keith 10K is a unique multi terrain running walking event that links with Keith Lee's four superb parks Devonshire Park, Hillcastle Park, Burgess Park, and Lizzie Centre Park. In the last four years, they've uh, had 3,300 runners and walkers, and have also raised £120,000 for Sue Rider. This will also help people to get in, uh, involved in physical activity. The strength of this is that it's aimed at all, people and all ages and people from different backgrounds.
comes to like, all the, the community get together. That's the positive. The weakness is the it's only a local thing, so people will not know about this in other areas of England. Also, it would mean that they won't get as much sponsorship and um, big events such as Olympics. The second one is P three five V five tournament at Mali, uh, organised and run by college. This is where different children from different primary schools get together and play a tournament amongst themselves. The strength of this is that it's run by um, college students to help officiate and run the event. This will also keep the cost to a minimum as uh, a barrier. As I said before, a barrier could be cost really. So if it's run by college students, it will run. Who else runs that then? Who's, who's the main person, people for that, the Mali 5v5? And why did you find v 5 The primary school one. It's the Bradford what? The Bradford Council. So yeah. it's run by the Bradford Council. Yeah, right. well, college students help to run. Yeah, yeah right. Uh, the weakness of that, it's not aimed at a big target and it's only aimed at children at primary school so therefore there might not be many opportunities like this for all these people. Yep. The third one I want to talk about is uh, Highfield Youth Club. This is this is a club which runs every Saturday and Tuesday at Highfield Centre for teenagers. The club offer a number of different sports teenagers can go and participate in. The strength of this is um, it gives teenagers something to do and keep them safe playing us off the roads. It also gives a number of different sports they can uh, participate in, such as all like wolf, to say for example, they don't like football, they can go play badminton or table tennis. And um, the weakness for this is it's only aimed at it's, it's only um, how can I put this one? It's only like people people from close by of the Highfield Centre know about this. So if you went to other areas of uh, Highfield of keep uh, like local men and stuff, they all know know about this, so it's not advertised properly. Right, great.